what's up? It's Savannah. It has been so long since I sat down and filmed a video. I am so excited that I'm here today. I've been wanting to film this makeup look for so long. I've had this idea in my head for so long. So I'm excited that I finally got to do it. I'm so sorry that it's been so long since I filmed a video. My life has been so crazy and hectic and I kind of explain it a little more in the video. Kind of scared how much I look like Bella Fiore right now. I'm really excited to show you guys how to get this look. And yeah, with that said, let's get started. Alright, so it's been a while. I think this is the longest I've gone since I started my YouTube channel that I haven't posted a video, which kind of freaks me out. It's been three weeks. So I decided to do a makeup tutorial, but I'm going to do a talk through makeup tutorial today because I just feel so disconnected from all of my subscribers anyway so yeah let's get started today I'm gonna start out with the eyes I'm gonna go in with my MAC soft ochre paint pot this is my favorite eye primer and I'm going to apply it with my fingers today since I have no nails just making sure to blend that out that's just gonna help to cancel all of like the veiny stuff and help my eyeshadow to stay longer throughout the day. This is the uh, Anastasia Mon Modern Renaissance palette, by the way. For my transition shade, I'm going to go into Burnt Orange, I think. These are super pigmented, so I'm making sure to tap off. And I want the shape of my eyeshadow today to be a little bit, like, almond shape. So I'm going to blend it in circular motions, kind of dragging it out here, not really dragging it up because I want it to be more elongated than a uh, round. Now I think I'm going to go a little more into Bon Fresco just to slightly start adding a little bit more color into the look. How are you guys? It's just been so long like since it's like my last video wasn't like a talking video either because it was a lookbook. Now I think I'm going to start adding in some cranberry shades. I'm going to go into the shade Love Letter and I am going to keep this a little lower but I'm going to really blow this out. Again I'm using circular motions which is very weird for me because I'm used to just kind of like blending like that and as I start getting this sh more of a shape I want I'm going to be bringing it more to the inner parts of my eye. Oh yeah I also dyed my hair darker if you haven't noticed by now. I did it right before homecoming. It's basically black like in certain lights you can see brown coming through but it's basically like a soft black. I really like it. I like it because it matches things better. Also I meant to make a vlog slash homecoming get ready with me and I filmed the get ready with me part but I totally forgot to do the vlog. It just kind of like didn't work well so I just ended up not even like editing it or uploading it but if you like to see pictures of that you, you can just go on my Instagram. It was a really fun night. I don't want as much purple in this look so I'm gonna go into this a uh, crimson color right here called red ochre this color is super like a little bit can go a long way so I'm just gonna be very careful with how much I put on I'm actually gonna use a different brush and I'm just going to put this in my crease because I don't want it to be so purple I want it to have more of that cranberry color you know so, yeah, I'm just basically doing the same technique I'm just keeping this lower I'm turning 17 on Tuesday. Tuesday's my birthday. Yeah, I'm really excited. I feel like 17 is like kind of old, you know? Like you're still like a teenager. It's not 18 where you're like basically an adult, but like, uh. But yeah, it's on election day, so I don't have school, but like I'm just not gonna go on my phone at all because I don't want like all the negativity of the election to like ruin my birthday. I don't know if I want to include this color or not. I feel like it's a good mix between these two. I'm just going to do the same thing basically. This is like actually the perfect middle color. Now that I'm looking at it like it's not super purple. So now I'm going to take, this is a ColourPop 
Super Shock Shadow in the shade Porter. It's from Kathleen Lights and Colourpop's collab. And it's this beautiful cranberry crimson shade. It has a little bit of shimmer in it. I'm in this audio video class right now. Surprise, surprise, right? Like, obviously I would be in a video production class. I've been in this same class since freshman year. Like, freshman year I was in level one, summer year I was in level two, and now I'm in level three. And it's just so stressful. I don't know why, like, I love making videos and filming and stuff, but... This class is just really burning me out, which I think was one of the reasons I didn't film for such a long time because I was just like, oh, I just need a break from cameras and editing. Like, I just needed a break because I was doing it every day in school. And so then, like, when I would make videos on the weekend, I just felt like I was in school. And so I'm applying lashes today, and the lashes I'm, use I'm using are the, the Eiler Vegas Nay lashes, and these are in the shade Easy Elegance. I'm going to measure these and apply these really fast off camera because I can't do these on camera, and I'll be right back. All right, so lashes are on. Um, the top of my eyes are finished for now, and before I do my under eyes I am going to start on my face so I'm going to prime my face first with the hourglass veil mineral mineral primer this is great for those of you with oily skin I started using this when my skin first started producing a lot of oil and I really really like it, it makes my face really smooth like I don't know if you can see how it's like brightening up my face because it has like that purple undertone and purple is a very brightening color. Now I'm going to go in with foundation. Um, my favorite foundation at the moment is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. I love this foundation. I use it every single day. I mentioned it in my um, everyday makeup tutorial that I did a little while ago. It gives me the coverage that I need but at the same time it is super duper natural looking it doesn't get cakey on me throughout the day which is important for teenagers because a lot of teenagers seem tend to have a breakout you know teenagers are more acne prone having a foundation that isn't like too full coverage and will still give teenagers that natural look is very important and this foundation does a great job at that so now i'm going to conceal and i'm going to be using the urban decay naked skin concealer i love 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 this concealer it's one of my all-time favorites it's most people's favorite i don't understand how you could not love this concealer i'm not going to get too close to the eyeshadow because i don't want it to like create a sharp line I still want my eyeshadow. I want to keep it rounded. So now I'm going to blend that out with my beauty blender again. Don't know what I would do without my beauty blender. Honestly, like, it's probably the best thing that's ever happened to me. Now I'm going to use the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. This is in the shade Sunlight. This is the second to lightest one the lightest one is celestial which i that one's too pink for me and my preference so that's why i got this one i absolutely love these they're so amazing so usually i just do like two drops on the back of my hand and that will be enough to put all over my face basically so i'm going to take my finger not meaning to flip uh flip you off but going to just dot it on all the places I want to highlight and I'm sure you can tell like these are so crazy pigmented even like after I set it with powder it's like still super duper highlighty so now I'm going to set everything with my Laura Mercier translucent pressed powder mine is broken at the moment i'm just gonna bake with this all the normal places to bake so under my eyes baking like i do it every day like it's the best thing that's ever happened to me definitely on the tip of my nose because i get super oily there throughout the day on my forehead because when i make expressions like i go like this so my foundation kind of creases there sometimes 
And then I'll do it on my, I'll bake on my laugh lines. And I'll just let it sit there while I do my eyebrows. I've actually been into pretty natural eyebrows. So I've just been using the Anastasia Brow Definer. Now I'm going to set it with the Benefit Gimme Brow very lightly. I've been brushing them up recently because I like that kind of tumbler supermodel shaped brow you know what i'm talking about like the Gigi Hadid eyebrow now that i am done with my eyebrows i'm going to set the rest of my face and also kind of wipe away all of the bakage happening and see you can still see the highlight pretty well i am going to do this new thing that i've been doing recently and Basically, it's just where I totally drench my face in MAC Fix Plus. Okay, so then I'm going to let it dry for a few minutes. And I'm just going to take my beauty blender and just tap, tap, tap. This will give my skin more of a skin-like finish. So after that, I'm going to finish my eyes. I'm going to go back into the Modern Renaissance palette. I don't want my under eyes to be super dark because I feel like my the top of my eyes are pretty dark. So I'm just going to go into um, Modern Renaissance palette again and dip into Burnt Orange and Von Fresco for now. And I'm just going to connect that. I think that's all I'm going to do for my lower lash line because I don't want my eyes to be like tiny you know so now i'm going to take my benefit the Ariel mascara and apply that to my lower lashes this will also help open up my eyes now i'm finished with my eyes i'm going to finish my face i'm going to take my big fluffy mac 135 brush and my Too faced chocolate soleil bronzer and I'm going to bronze my face with this. Make sure to get that forehead or five head. Huh, I always thought my forehead was a five head but it actually is a forehead. So I'm going to carve out my jawline. Try to get rid of that double chin that I loathe. Now I'm going to quantum my nose. I'm going to take my Sephora angled eyeshadow brush. This is perfect to get into the corners of my nose. Gonna give myself a quick nose job. Now I'm going to highlight. Um, I know my highlight is already popping a lot, but I'm still gonna highlight. I'm gonna go in with the Becca um, Opal highlighter with my Morphe M501 brush. I'm just gonna dip that in. Not gonna go too crazy because I already am pretty highlighted. Not gonna forget because I always forget to apply highlight to my inner corners. Actually I'm not gonna do my brow bone. Now I'm going to be applying the Anastasia Heather's liquid lipstick. I wanted a dark liquid lipstick because I feel like it's appropriate for fall. I'm kind of obsessed with this look, I'm not gonna lie. Alright guys, that was it for this video. I hope you liked it. Please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot. I almost have 600 subscribers, which is crazy. Like, what? With everything said, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!